Good morning. We're up early today. Yes, our train leaves at 7.30. Yeah, so I'm just on my way to the Roma Terminal, which is the main station. Just earlier this morning, I got an email from the train company saying that there might be some disruptions. At least that's what I got from translating the email. It has to do with technical issues on the train and also that I might potentially not go to Roma Termini. I'm not sure about that. So I need to go to the main station just to double check. So I just spoke to the customer service and they said that I need to go to a different station. It's called Tiburtina. But it's like an hour away from here and there's no metro today. The guy said that there's a replacement bus outside but I don't actually know which side of the station. The station is massive. So I've gone to that side. I'm gonna go that side, see if there's anything there. You can see a lot of buses just ahead of me, so maybe that's where all the replacement buses are. Hopefully, let's have a look. Oh no. I think these are just the normal buses. I don't know, I feel like I might just take a taxi. I'm gonna check how much is it because um, I'd be walking about dragging my luggage around not knowing where exactly I need to go. I walked about 10 minutes from the Roma Termini station to get to this bus stop because Google is saying me that there will be a bus in like 10 minutes and I got here like you know two minutes before the 10 minute time no bus and then I've just checked Google again and then it's saying that oh no it's been rerouted so I think because it's Sunday today um, everything is just messed up so I decided to just take a taxi it will cost me about 10 euros guys okay, nearly here heavy <laughs> thank you oh. uh, Tibor Tina so I'm looking at the train schedule and my train is not there, it's the nature is not even there. So let's go find some more service. That's the key to the customer service. I think everyone is having the same issue as me. So I got to the front of the queue only to be told that I was queuing for the wrong train company. I thought there's only one. So that's Train Italia. That's my train company. <laughs> Morning. Um, I've got my train ticket to um, from Roma to Mini to Florence. Yeah. But I've got an email this morning saying that I yeah. have to come here. This kind of train is um, following a slow route because uh, of a problem on the line. So the train uh, should be uh, to that. So the lady said that the train number should be up on the board soon. And fair enough, when I came out from the um, service center, so there, that's my train number. And it's delayed 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's go get something to eat because I haven't had anything so far this morning. So I've got an Americano and this really tasty thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's really nice. It's got pastry, essentially. So the board is saying that our plane to depart are 8.40. Then it's now 8.36 and they still haven't shown the platform number. It's just going to be fun running towards the train station. <laughs> The train platform, isn't it? They're saying it's on platform 16, so. Oh, platform 16. Oh, so everyone's here. The train is finally here. Oh, 
After all the delays, we finally arrived. Welcome to Florence. First mission is to find the BNB. Google is telling me that it's about a 20 minute walk, so yeah, let's go find it. Nearly there. Just I think it's the end of this road. That was check-in, done. Probably the quickest check-in I've ever done. <laughs> the room is not ready yet, understandably, because it's too early. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around. Our first stop would be the Basilica of Santa Croce. It's like five minute walk away. I was actually expecting Florence to be as busy as Rome. But it seems to be quiet. And I'm not sure if that's because it's Sunday today. Santa Croce is the burial place for the great and good in Florence. Michelangelo is buried here, as are Rossini, Machiavelli, and Galileo Galilei. There is a mass at the moment. It's Sunday, so you're not allowed to go in the church unless you're attending the mass. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna move to the next spot. The Florence Cathedral, or Duomo, stands out for its monumental dimensions. When it was finished in the 1400s, it was the largest church in Europe. Today, it's the fifth largest, behind St. Peter's in the Vatican City, St. Paul's in London, the Cathedral in Seville, and that of Milan. That there is the gates of paradise. Michelangelo likened the gilded bronze doors of San Giovanni's Baptistry to the gates of paradise. The phrase stuck and it's been called as such ever since. I have no idea what was happening there. I think you might need to touch the, uh, the mouth of the boar and then you drop money and then you wish, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, I touch it anyway. <laughs> Academia is where you'll find the original David sculpture by Michelangelo. Uh, but I didn't get a ticket and I think they're all sold out. And I went there just to see if I could get like, a spare one for the day. But the queue was just too long. So if you don't have that, you go to the Acha de la Signora. There's so many sculptures here. I don't know which one to look. Let's start with David and then work our way around. All right, there's so many of them. Okay, let's do that and then we'll go for lunch afterwards. Michelangelo was only 26 years old when he started sculpting David. The original sculpture stood here, in this exact location, for over 400 years, before it was moved to the Academia Gallery. So you don't need a ticket to get in this area where a lot of sculptures are. We just have to wait because they limit the number of people inside.
All right, let's go get lunch. <laughs> this is like bruschetta with tomatoes and basil leaves. For the main meal, I've ordered pizza. Of course, I did. I'm now in Ponte Vecchio and it's essentially full of tourists and full of jewelry shops on both sides. I think this bridge can be appreciated looking in from another bridge. Apart from being the birthplace of the Renaissance, Florence is also the birthplace of gelato, apparently. So we're gonna have some. <laughs> Buongiorno. Um, can I get the lemon uh, in, a, in a cup, please? Lemon and then the, um, oh, where is it? The, this one. <laughs> one in the top, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I had a hefty lunch and also had the gelato for dessert. So now it's time to burn those calories. <laughs> Gonna go on a walk. Hopefully to avoid all the crowd and to also get a really nice view of Florence. Yeah, it's quite hard to do this walk in the middle of the afternoon when the sun is at its worst. Uh, I may not have thought this through. I should have waited until the sun is a little bit down on the horizon for doing this hike. Otherwise, it's so, so hard, doubly hard. <laughs> That's just the first viewpoint, I'm sure there's more up, uh, up there. Well, that's the second viewpoint. It's really hard for that view. <laughs> and that there, that's Florence. It is ridiculously hot, so I think I'm gonna go inside the church to cool down. I did not expect to attend a mass in Florence but it was a choice between staying inside the church where it's cool and comfy and therefore attend the mass or go outside and face the hellish afternoon sun so it was an easy choice really anyway um, it's nearly um, eight o'clock so I think I'm just gonna stay here and wait for the sunset The priest just picked us all out <laughs> from the church. I think they shot at eight. It's such a shame because they could have stayed there all day. And I would have loved to see the sunset from that place. There's less tourists. Anyway, move on to Piazza San Michelangelo. Feels like everyone is here. Like literally everyone. goes all the way there and then there's even a level down that's also full of people.
had to get out of there as quickly as I can. There's just too many people. It's hard to enjoy the view. <laughs> now this is the sunset. Just finished breakfast and I um, think I'm gonna head out to the train station now for that. Get one last look at the Dumo. can't really appreciate how massive that church is until you see someone from afar taking a photo. Like, you see those guys, look how tiny they are compared to the door. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. This is the inside of the train station. And that's the end for time in Florence. I will be there in Florence. You, on the other hand, I will see you in the next one. Keep the kids, or as you say in Italy, I go, of course.